Hello watchers and dear subscribers, welcome to Android application development tutorial number 2. This is one and only Shrakes from SmartHerd. In this tutorial, I will introduce you with the Android operating system. What is Android OS? What is it all about? Its background, history and the inside architecture of Android operating system. Now, let's not waste time and move forward. So, what Android OS is all about. Android operating system is actually based on Linux kernel. Now the question arises, what is this Linux kernel? It is actually a Unix-like operating system kernel which is actually an open source and free. It's quite popular for development point of view. Now, the second, the most important that you all know, it is designed for touch screens. Now, Earlier we used to have our smartphones with Android but these days tablets, digital cameras, televisions and also the latest one Google Glass is actually having the Android operating system. Google has recently released the Google wearable glasses and you can also make apps for that Google Glasses. Now third is actually the Android operating system is open source which means the source code is available to all under a certain certified license from Google. Now, you can develop the Android applications, make it available for the other users, all these features this open source provide for the developers. Now, the fourth one is that 71% of the mobile developers across the world are actually the Android developers. And trust me guys, you are going to be among this 71% soon. Just stick to these tutorials. Now, fifth one is that you can upload or sell your applications at various platforms like Google Play Store, Amazon Play Store or Samsung Play Store. Amazon and Samsung Play Store gives you a free developer account but Google Play Store gives you a developer account with a minimal cost of $25. Now let's move forward to our next slide. Before we move to our development tutorials. Let me introduce you with the inside architecture of the Android. What is it all about and how the Android is made from inside. Here we can see an image of the Android architecture. I am not going to bore you in detail. I am just going to give you the overview of this architecture. The bottom most layer is the Linux kernel which is the most important layer. It provides the basic system functionalities like process management, device management, device management like camera driver, bluetooth driver. This is actually the wireless functionalities that it provides. Then power management, audio drivers, whatever and so on. Then comes the libraries. It is another most important layer which provides SQL database for the applications web browser kit, SSL, SGL, OpenGL, yes, you don't have to worry about all these stuffs. OpenGL actually helps you to add 2D animation or 3D animation like Android games are having. Then comes the application framework which provides the high level services to our applications in the form of Java classes. It is actually the predefined classes that is very useful for these applications at the top to work like content providers, window manager, activity manager, all these stuffs I will talk to you during the development tutorials guys and then comes the applications which is actually the applications that you install in your OS like your games, messaging applications or any other applications that you use in your daily life. Now one more thing here guys I forgot to discuss this Android runtime which is present in the libraries layer. It actually provides the core libraries and also provide the Dalvik virtual machine. This Dalvik virtual machine actually allowed developers to execute their code and convert it into the Dalvik executable code. Like Java is also having a virtual machine in which the codes are executed and converted into the machine code or byte codes. Here the virtual machine of Android is known as Dalvik virtual machine DVM and the codes to which the codes are converted is known as DEX code DEX code Dalvik executable codes. So Android like Java is also platform independent. Now let's move forward to our next slide. Here you can see loads of Android versions I have mentioned starting from 2.2 Froyo ending at latest KitKat 4.4. Now if you notice guys these names are actually in alphabetical order and 
are based on the name of desserts or sweet dishes like ice cream sandwich jelly bean kit kat all are related to desserts or sweets now yeah right now what the heck i just told you that these are based on the alphabetical order so where are a b c d like that before 2.2 there were versions which were not so popular that's why they are not counted those versions were 2.0 to 2.1 was eclairs then 1.6 was donut 1.5 was cupcake and before 1.5 1.1 was there and 1.0 was there there was no name of 1.1 and 1.0 only you can see the apis api 1 and api 2 like this the apis are increasing and the apis of these stuffs are like this 8 10 13 like this i will talk about it also in later on during development tutorials and these are the release dates now the first commercially available smartphone actually was HTC Dream which was released in USA in October 22 2008 with the Android version 1.5 so cupcake was the first android version in the HTC Dream later on 1.6 came but both were not so efficient that is why from froyo itself we are having the smartphones which we presently use so this was all about android introduction guys hope you guys now know little bit about the android and its architecture it's it is just the basic stuffs guys no need to worry about it if you are not getting it so thanks for watching guys this is shrek from smartherd signing off and do share my video and subscribe to my channel